Hi, I'm Al, and in today's Summit Racing Quick Flicks, continuing on with our LS Engine series, I'm going to talk to you today about how to tune your LS Engine. So today, like I mentioned, I'm going to talk about tuning your LS engine. Now a lot of these principles, they'll transfer over to tuning your fuel injected engine, but I'm going to kind of focus in on some of the keys for that LS engine swap. The first one I'm going to touch on is a basic handheld programmer. Now the Diablo Intune Tuner, we've talked about these style tuners before. It's great for your daily driver or your performance muscle car. You can either get a little more horsepower and torque gains or perhaps tune it more towards fuel efficiency. Now where this is going to come into play for the LS engine swap is if you've transferred all of your computer system over to your project vehicle. I'm talking about your computer, your fuel injector controllers, your transmission controller, as well as your vehicle anti-theft device over to that project vehicle. Now I specifically point, want to point out that vehicle anti-theft device because these types of controllers cannot deactivate that anti-theft device. There are a couple ways around it. The first way around it and, and probably one of the more popular ways around the anti-theft device is with a complete system like this MSD Atomic EFI system. Uh, it includes the computer components, uh, the MSD one actually hides it up on the, f the fuel rails and then it has this box which you can hide right on your uh, firewall and then everything is actually controlled through this little handheld unit right here. You plug this in and you tell the computer what type of camshaft you're running, whether it's stock, mild or aggressive. You let it know the transmission you're running, the rear gear ratio and other important information it asks you at the beginning. And then as you drive it learns the tendencies of your engine and becomes more efficient and then you can also tune it more towards power. Now in a couple of our past videos we've talked about a lot of different things like cylinder heads, intake manifolds, as well as camshafts. Now if you've actually swapped out one or all three of those components you may want to look more towards a custom tune. The reason is some of these more aftermarket off-the-shelf components can't uh, necessarily be tuned correctly and anticipate what you're going to be putting into that engine. They don't know what style camshaft you're running, the degrees of separation as well, or the lift. And to get the most out of those aftermarket parts, you're going to want to step up to an HP tuning kit. Now what this software kit includes is some basic software as well as a cable to hook your computer of your uh, EFI system up to your laptop and then you can create a custom tune whether it's for turning on more horsepower in the upper RPMs or you want more torque in the lower RPM range. You can change things like turning off or deactivating the anti-theft device, letting the computer know when to shift your transmission as well as custom tuning for power adders like nitrous, supercharger, or turbocharger. Now there's also a lot of damage that you can do with this type of kit. Uh, some of it includes leaning out your engine and then running into detonation, throwing off the timing, and things like that. So I, I do urge a lot of caution when you step up to a kit like this. If you're kind of afraid, you know you need a custom tune, but you don't want to damage your, your engine, what I recommend is at the start of your project or no time like now, find a custom tuner at a dyno shop local to you, talk to them, and then when you have put together your engine and your project, take that project over to them and have them run it on the dyno and figure out that custom tune that's going to fit your vehicle perfectly, achieving the goals that you're looking for. Now if you have any other questions about tuning for EFI engines, uh, LS engine swaps, or any other questions in general, I'd love to hear them. Please feel free to leave a question in the comments section below. Remember to hit subscribe to stay up to date on our latest Quick Flicks videos, and be sure to watch some of our other videos. Thanks for watching.